start by creating a list of around 150 to 200 relevant keywords that your app could or should rank for. Manually, this could involve brainstorming with your team. It could also involve checking the keywords your competitors have in their metadata, looking up App Store auto suggestions, scanning user reviews, and so on. But if you want to take your keyword research a step further, you should use an ASO tool to save time and build a powerful keyword list. This can help you spot high volume keywords, quickly identify keyword gaps that your competitors are missing out on, and prioritize the keywords that you should include in your app's metadata. We're now back in the keyword tool. Once you open the suggestions button, you'll find over 10 keyword research and suggestion tools. In this video, we'll explain how you can use all these tools to build a powerful keyword list in minutes. But first things first, as you start your keyword research on AppTweak, it's super useful to group your keywords into different keyword lists. Click the plus sign to create a new list. You can provide a name, you can give it a color and reorder it in the way that most suits your team. Now let's add some keywords. You can start by typing your initial keyword ideas that describe your app's functionality. To make this process even easier, you can directly copy paste a column of keywords from Google Sheets to add them all in one go. By clicking add, all these keywords will be automatically added to your keyword table so you can start analyzing each of their KPIs. You'll also find our valuable set of keyword suggestion tools that will help you build a keyword list with better ideas and stronger keywords. To build an effective semantic dictionary, you should start by looking at the keywords already in your app metadata. Check out keywords included in your app's title, subtitle, and description. You can also uncover this data for any app you've added as a competitor. Analyzing your competitors' ASO strategies can be a goldmine for interesting keyword ideas. Look through your competitors' top installs, for example. These tend to be the keywords users are using the most when searching for your or your competitors' apps, and therefore, they're the keywords driving the most organic installs. You can select individual keywords here or analyze all to add them all to your keyword list. Next, you should have a look at the keywords your own app is currently ranking for. This step is crucial when creating your ASO strategy, but it's also super useful when researching new keyword opportunities. For example, looking at your ranked keywords can expose any words that you haven't targeted in your metadata, but that your app is ranking for. As a result, adding these keywords to your metadata could help you further increase your rankings. Use the filters to broaden or narrow your research based on ranking position or volume. In this section, you can also analyze all the keywords your competitors are ranking for. The most interesting insights here will be the keywords your competitors rank for that you don't. You can make your job easier by looking directly in the Opportunity tab. It's also a good idea to keep an eye on shared keywords that you have in common with your competitors. Another great source of keyword inspiration can come from your paid acquisition strategy. You can leverage ad campaigns to analyze the performance of keywords that you've targeted in your Apple search ads campaigns. For this, you'll first have to connect your App Store console to add these keywords to your keyword list in AppTweak. To find the perfect keywords for your app or game, it's essential to go beyond the keywords that are only related to your app and discover what people are actually searching for in the app stores. In the Generate section, you'll find useful tools to help you discover more out-of-the-box keywords. For example, Semantic Keywords uses Atlas, our most advanced data science algorithms, 
to return keywords that are semantically related to the one that you typed. Google and Apple Autosuggest will show you the autocomplete keywords that are directly suggested on the App Store and Google Play. Most searches made on the app stores come from long tail and more niche keywords. These keyword combinations can be super valuable to your visibility strategy. Yes, they often have lower volumes, but their lower difficulty scores often make them much easier to rank high for. The Keyword Shuffler helps you unveil relevant long tail keywords that will help you drive organic downloads to your app. Finally, get some keyword ideas from trending terms in your market or category. In this section, you can take a quick look at top keywords among apps serving the same purpose as your own, popular keywords in your category, and the keywords that have seen the most growth over the last 30 days. And on AppTweak, we make it especially easy to build a powerful keyword list. Let us do the work for you by leveraging the Brainstorm List, an automatic list of 100 relevant keywords for your app. These will also often be high volume keywords to help you identify those with the best potential. But what if you're working on an app for a non-English speaking market? For example, imagine you're about to launch the Uber Eats app in France. And let's say you, as an app marketeer, don't already speak French, so you have no idea what the keywords we suggest mean or whether you should target them in your metadata. Don't worry, this task is much easier with AppTweak. Our auto-translate feature will translate keyword suggestions from any language into English, French, Japanese, Korean, or simplified Chinese, depending on your tool settings. This will help you select the best keywords for your target market and focus efforts on the terms that make the most sense for your app. There are three primary factors to keep in mind when selecting your target keywords. The first factor you'll need to account for is keyword relevancy. Relevant keywords describe your app's functionality and are the most likely keywords to be used when people actually search for your app on the stores. Adding only the most relevant keywords to your metadata is necessary to maximize your app's chances of ranking, as the app stores will always try to show the most relevant apps to users' search queries. However, keyword relevancy isn't as straightforward as it sounds. Let's take the example of Night Training Club, a wellness and workout app. From the screenshots, we see the app offers HIT and yoga workouts, among other things. From this, you might think that yoga would be an interesting keyword for the app to target. However, when we look at the search results for the keyword yoga, we see that apps that are more relevant than Nike Training Club rank at the top. These top ranking apps are yoga focused and predominantly offer different types of yoga classes. Apple and Google therefore considered these apps more relevant than Nike Training Club. The second factor to consider when prioritizing keywords for your metadata is keyword volume. Selecting relevant keywords is all well and good, but if no one's actually searching for these terms in the first place, your rankings just won't improve. As we mentioned in chapter one, a pillar of ASO is increasing your app's visibility. So make sure that you're only prioritizing keywords people actually use when searching on the stores. Finally, we have keyword competition. High volume keywords are undoubtedly the most competitive. The more competitive a keyword is, the more difficult it is to rank for. So try to target high volume keywords that you actually have a chance to rank for. In fact, it'd be better to rank in the number one spot for a lower volume keyword than at number 100 for a very popular word as the overarching goal of keyword research is to gain visibility. To facilitate your keyword research, AppTweak has developed several features and KPIs that help you dig through your keyword list and select only the top priority keywords to optimize for. 
So now let's go through the metrics and features you should use when prioritizing your keywords. Earlier, we explained that the first factor to consider when selecting your target keywords is how relevant a keyword is to your app. To help you with this, we've developed the relevancy metric. Our keyword relevancy score is an indicator between zero and 100. The higher the number, the more relevant we estimate the keyword to be to this app. To identify the most relevant keywords to add to your metadata, don't forget to use the live search. Live search will show you the exact apps a user would see after searching for a specific keyword on the stores. This will help you evaluate whether or not the app stores themselves consider a search term as relevant to your app. Let's take the example of TripAdvisor. One of their offerings allows users to book transportation, so at first glance, you might think it's interesting for TripAdvisor to target the keyword car rental, for example. However, when we look at the App Store search results for the keyword car rental, Apple prioritizes apps with car rental services as their main offering. This is a great example of how car rental wouldn't be a relevant keyword for TripAdvisor, since the stores don't consider it relevant enough to the app's main features or functionality. Going a step further, you can also check historical search results. Doing this will help you better understand fluctuations or consistencies among the apps that have historically ranked in the top positions for a specific keyword. The next factor to consider is keyword volume. The volume is an indicator between 5 and 100. A higher volume indicates more users actually using this keyword when searching on the app stores. The volume score changes through time and differs from country to country, as people from different cultures and languages don't search for apps in the same way. For iOS apps, AppTweak fetches the volume, also called the search popularity, directly from Apple. Google, on the other hand, doesn't disclose this information, so AppTweak has developed our own metrics to estimate the volume of keywords on the Play Store. You can click the small chart icon to see the volume history for a specific keyword. Next, AppTweak has developed several metrics to help you understand keyword competition. The first to consider is difficulty. This metric indicates how difficult it might be for the app to rank for this keyword. To determine keyword difficulty, we account for the top 10 apps ranking on a specific word and their app power or authority. If all the apps are very powerful and generally receive a lot of downloads, competition will be tough and your app will also need many downloads to rank high for that keyword. On the other hand, if the app powers of the top apps for that keyword are pretty low, it's probably not too tough to rank for that keyword. An even more insightful metric is the chance score. This score considers your app power and determines whether or not your app has a good chance of ranking for a keyword. The higher the score, the higher the likelihood that your app will rank for that keyword. And while chance is a great indicator to understand the keywords you have the best chance of ranking in the top results for, it doesn't take volumes into account. For this, we've developed the KEI, or the Key Efficiency Indicator metric, that accounts both for the volume and the chance score. The higher the KEI, the more potential the keyword has to increase your app's visibility. So before we show you another great feature that helps you select your target keywords, let me tell you a bit more about long tail keywords. These are keywords made up from more than one word. For example, workout at home, Enhanced photo quality and brain training games are all long tail keywords. These terms tend to have lower volumes than single keywords, but are usually less competitive and thus easier to rank for. So when you prioritize keywords to include in your metadata, be sure to also consider all the long tail combinations these keywords can make. 
but how do you quickly identify unique keywords with the potential to make a lot of relevant long tail combinations? This is possible with AppTweak's keyword combinations table. In the combinations table, we'll group all the single keywords from your keyword list. This view will allow you to expand a single search term to see how many possible combinations can also be created from your list. The most interesting factor here is that AppTweak will show an aggregated view of your different keyword metrics. For each single keyword you see in the list, we'll return the average volume, difficulty score and rank, as well as the total sum of installs for all the associated keyword combinations. This can help you more easily identify the keywords you should definitely target in your metadata. So those with big potential to make a lot of relevant and high volume keyword combinations. For example, TripAdvisor should definitely consider adding the keyword planner to its metadata, as the keyword is included in 15 long tail combinations in our list. Together, these combinations drive 314 organic downloads to the app per month. TripAdvisor could also consider adding advisor or itinerary to its metadata to try to rank higher on these long tail combinations. As you can see, you can expand each term to evaluate whether its combinations are actually interesting for your app. The concepts behind selecting effective keywords are simple but the process to rank high for relevant keywords takes time and effort. In this video, we explained how you can find and prioritize the right keywords for your app by considering relevancy, volume, and competition. 